This TikTok couple is getting called out for normalizing abuse and we've got to talk about it. Andrea and Lewis are a couple on TikTok who recently got married. The two are in their early 20s and they have a shared TikTok with over 7 million followers along with a YouTube channel with over a million subscribers. So I think it's safe to say that they have somewhat of a big following. Well, one of their most recent TikToks attracted a much bigger audience and I'm talking nearly 30 million views. Now, usually with these type of viral TikToks, there's got to be some sort of controversy behind Behind it. And that controversy with Andrea and Lewis is exactly what we're talking about in today's video. So I first heard about this situation over on Reddit, where someone made a post specifically regarding this TikTok the couple posted, and it highlighted how rough Lewis was being towards Andrea. And I'm not talking about a roughhousing situation where you're just play fighting with your partner and clearly not fighting in a serious manner, but I'm talking the situation where Andrea, Lewis's wife, explicitly goes out of her own way to speak on how she's being treated in just a few clips under this TikTok. She captions her TikTok, moments I thought my husband was being cute, but really was in fact bullying me. I don't know if this is some sort of Stockholm syndrome or something because on the surface, it seems like she's making the situation of the way her husband is treating her out to be something quirky or something cute and affectionate that people should be looking up to. But clearly people did not see it that way, rightfully so. People saw it as a cry for help and as a way to point out that this girl Andrea is clearly in some sort of relationship. Keep in mind, these are just a few of the clips Andrea posted. The first one doesn't seem too harsh as the two are both outside and Lewis is just throwing some snow on her, but then people point out how it gets much worse. Lewis is slamming Andrea to the ground. Some people are referring it to a WWE slam very harshly, another clip where he's dragging her on the floor, and I just want you guys to observe his behavior and facial expressions in the next few clips. At one point in this clip, Andrea is gasping for air. She's gasping for air to be able to breathe as she's covered with all these foams, I believe. Now, I'm gonna have to play a quick segment of it just for copyright purposes, but hopefully you guys can hear how she's gasping for breath as her husband is just dragging her nonchalantly. <laughs> The comments under this reddit thread read, he really threw her down hard with a straight face like he didn't care. If my partner did that, even if he thought it was a joke that went too far, I would not be okay with it. How is any man comfortable doing that? That's straight up aggression. Awful. Huge red flag. She needs to get out. I agree. It's so weird. I don't know why they thought this would be a good idea to post to their 7.2 million followers because clearly no one should be looking up to this nor finding anything about these behaviors remotely okay and something that people should settle for. But wait guys, it gets worse. Obviously, when everyone saw this TikTok on social media, they were expressing their concerns for Andrea, the person she was with, just her overall relationship, even pointing out Luce's facial expressions, seeing how that was a little scary, how he just had a straight face and looked aggressive while he was doing all these type of things to his wife. Andrea instead goes out of her way to go off on the people who were simply concerned for her. Her. And all I have to say is her response to her supporters was just flat out disgusting. I just can't believe she had the nerve to post this. Y'all are running your dirty little mouths and it's time for me to speak up. First of all, the comments that you guys have been leaving are fucking disgusting. She also says in her now, I believe, deleted TikTok, I don't want your effing support. And she says how she thinks people's intentions on social media that were simply concerned for her and her relationship was to just put down the person that she loves the most. Yeah. It's just sad that she's not seeing the bigger picture in all of this. And that's why people are labeling this as a case where she's a victim that's just blinded by the truth. These two have been in deep together for years now. So I could see why people think she's a victim. If ever there was a depiction for the saying for when boys are mean to girls and we tell them oh it's just because he likes you this is it this is literally the segue into okaying domestic violence it starts when we tell young girls that boys are just being mean to them because they like them this is what ends up happening they end up in situations like this that they find are very normal because it's just play fighting it's just cute in that entire video none of those we're play fighting. We have to stop convincing women and girls that this type of behavior is love. 
This type of behavior is not love. This type of behavior is problematic and leads to the death of hundreds of thousands of women every year due to domestic violence. Because everybody just continued to condone it, to laugh along with it, until she's not laughing and he's fled the country. This is incredibly disturbing. This TikToker summarized perfectly how Andrea's response was one of the most horrible things she could have done on her platform and how her response was just rude and abhorrent. I think what's disgusting is that you have 7.2 million followers, a lot of which I'm sure are young girls. You post a video with a collection of behaviors and a caption that very much insinuates that there's something we should be concerned about. Then you vilify those young girls who rightfully have concern, belittling them to running their dirty little mouths and calling them disgusting for a narrative you created, which very much looks like a cry for help that you could take down if you were so bothered by the negative attention, but you won't because it's at 28.6 million views. With your clout chasing games, you have single-handedly contributed to women not being believed and that women should not support other women when they believe them to be in distress. And I find that beyond disgusting. It's horrifying. People all over TikTok continue to comment things as follows. The face he makes when he throws her to the ground. He throws her like they're on WWE. That wasn't like a toss onto the bed. That was up and down into hard ground. I was seeing a lot of comments, people saying that in the comments, Andrea said that she got bruises from this. She even said she got bruises from this, but that it didn't hurt and she loves it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to say that's pretty concerning. The way she was literally gasping for air shows how forcefully he he pushed her to the ground. At first, I thought the snow one was just like cute and mischievous, but then I watched the rest of the video. So yeah, people are all around very concerned for this relationship and even more concerned with the way Andrea responded to people that were simply just worried for her well-being. Some comments I also found interesting were people pointing out how apparently Andrea's husband had ghosted her for four years, which if that's true, I mean, I did see quite a few comments saying that, that's pretty insane. This isn't the first time this couple has gotten into some controversy though, even though this one is definitely more concerning. You guys may remember the whole wedding drama that Andrea and Louis was a part of. Louisa Pugh, another girl on TikTok, claimed that Andrea and Louis had copied her wedding a little while ago. This was also a big situation. Louisa accused the couple of plagiarizing, saying how she felt like they copied her wedding in detail in many different ways from the crown to her wedding chairs and much more the more i look at it it gets worse the crown is probably the worst just look at the shape this is my crown my husband's dad handmade me this crown so much thought magic literally energy work from my family and you just etsy it moving on our wedding chairs their wedding chairs they even tried to get our wedding venue the drape, the glass colors, the table setup. Our drapes, our glass colors, our table setup. Oh yeah, and they wanted a semicircle. Just look at the colors, look at the arrangement. Our semicircle. Do you even know why we chose a circle? Do you even do you even know? All of those things had meaning and they were a reflection of our love story and you stole that. Anyways guys, this has been the whole situation with this TikTok couple, Andrea and Lewis. I definitely want to know what you guys think about this entire situation in the comments down below and until next time, I love you guys so much and as always, I'll see you.